Dave and Debbie, riding the Viper Sport. Triborg electric skateboards are the next generation of power skateboards. Triborgs are the strongest, most versatile power boards on the market today. Triborg's unique three-wheel design is more stable than the conventional four-wheel design. Triborg uses the same centrifugal force as a motorcycle or gyroscope. Triborg matched with the dirt bike style rear suspension and big wheels make a very stable power board. Triborgs have a huge 24 volt 20 amp hour lithium battery pack. Triborg battery packs come with a one year warranty. Triborgs ride like any other snowboard or skateboard, just lean to turn but these have a thumb throttle and a handbrake. Getting up and over obstacles like curbs or logs is pretty easy using the throttle and suspension to lift you up and over. Triborgs are great for commuting, skate park, street, beach, dirt, or trails. With a range close to 20 miles and speeds up to 20 miles per hour, Triborgs can take you places quick. Triborg skateboards have a hand-welded aluminum tube frame that was designed to supply the rigidity to the board while also protecting the electronics. Triborg frames come in polished aluminum or for an extra $200 a line X bed liner coating with your choice of color. We got Richard here with a Trim Wiz. What are we looking at? We're looking at the Trim Wiz right here, and this right here is the cheapest investment you can make to get the best handheld quality in the fastest time. You can cut your trim time in half with the Trim Wiz. The alternative is about 760 bucks, and it has less features at a slow price, a slow pace like this. So I said, let's be able to slow it down and let's be able to speed it up with the trim whisk. It also has a double click action where you can turn on the LED light so you can get in and really get precision. Very good. I tested it and one hour's worth of scissor trimming I got done in 25 minutes with the trim whisk. So, so you cut your time more than in half. Well, yeah, well, more than in half. You make your production about 220% more productive. I hire trimmers for 100 bucks a day. They're also beginners. I know that I can get two and a half days out of one day's pay with my trimmers, and we can both be happy. They can feel like they accomplished a lot of weight. I can feel like I didn't have to spend a lot a of money whole, to uh, get there. Happier hands, too. Hi, oh, a ha lot happier hands. And when I use the big machines, it likes to eat about 30% of my harvest. So I get the most out of my harvest. It there are a lot stuff. of people that still like to hand trim because of that quality quality control. So there are solutions for the tumblers, but for those that like to hand trim, please check out Rich at TrimWiz.com. Yes, sir. You can very call simple. us at 1-844-TRIMWIZ. Thank you very much.
The PlayStation 4 is a capable media center that supports popular video streaming services. The controller is great for playing games, not so much for controlling video playback. Popular universal remotes can control almost anything, except the PlayStation 4. Existing PlayStation 4 remotes use Bluetooth. Most universal remotes do not support Bluetooth. The solution? Umotia allows virtually any universal remote to control your PlayStation 4. Easy to use, guaranteed compatibility. First enable HDMI device link on your PlayStation 4. Make the connections as shown in the diagram. Now you can use your universal remote to power on off, navigate menus and control playback. Umotia puts you in control. Hello, this is Registered Respiratory Therapist, Khalil Hill. I'm working tonight with a few models, and this, for example, is my ultraviolet rail doorknob uh, pad submit I saw pad in, I'm submitting to lawyers. This is the rail number one of a 24 rail device. Uh, I'll give you the example. Uh, right here in front of me, as you can see, is sort of the big prototype, the macro version, where you will touch. Now these rails are being held by an octagon in place here. If you look carefully at them, I've assembled wheels, bring this up to the screen, wheels on them that will enable you to ride the track here from the exterior. The uh, material will ride from over outbound and the actual version we're printing now is a dual track. It's 24 shadow ascension top, ascension shadow. That shadow traps a wheel between the rail 24 and rail 48 and allows it to roll into place and roll fabric into place and also sterilize the handle material to make it antibacterial. Uh, the, the coolest thing about it is we're going to be using these actuators. This is just a uh, placeholder actuator because it doesn't have the four inch distance uh, stroke that I need. This does have a stroke, but what it will be doing here in a reverse motif, this rail going this way, facing outward for the left hand or the east and the west, We'll push, uh, push this in here, as you can see this rotates out. Uh, push these wheels across our, our dual ascension, descension track, shadow track, and uh, allow the material to come into place. So we'll get, we'll get one, we'll hold one up high, as you can see the, the full, the full uh, design. So you would have one here. This one, as you see, has some of the light sockets in place. You can see closer. We're doing some experimentation with how bright it is. We wanted 43 millimeter cathodes, but the brightness was too high. So we have these two coming in together here. Now, the actuators are in opposite directions. So for the one door, these doors are really facing out. The actuator coming here, this is the door where my nose is. The actuator comes right in and pulls it, extends out, brings it up the rail, comes down on these 24 wheel pulleys. They're kind of a pulley system. And then on the light model, I can show you some of the wiring we're just experimenting. The, inside this vortex, these will, where these lights will be, let me get a bulb, here we get an LED bulb. These lights will be embedded inside here. We're trying to do it with more battery power, too many wires, but as it comes in, the vortex, the material will come over this rail into the vortex of ultraviolet bombardment. When it is bombarded with ultraviolet light, the material from the handle will reduce its pseudonona aeruginosa, pseudomona aeruginosa, its septophilus fragilis, whatever bacteria you're aware of uh, that, that responds well. Even Ebola 
was treated in some countries with ultraviolet radiation. So this is in a way not Ebola proof, but will do a lot for the common cold, common bacteria. I worked in a hospital three years. I did internships for three and a half years. So seven years in the hospital. My main concern is going home without a sore throat. That catalyzed the vision, humanitarian uh, assumption that everybody wants to share uh, a universal space without the fear, the phobia, the, pred the consternation of uh, contamination. So this is what brought on the idea. I'm always going to work. Oh my God, she has emphysema. She has spina bifida. She has cystic fibrosis. She has tuberculosis. She has bronchiectasis. She has bronchiectasis. She has bronchiectasis. She has uh, malaria. She has HIV. She has uh, sarcoidosis. She has histoplasma. She, it goes on and on. So for me, my, my, my vision was always my own inner fear, my inner phobia saying back up. There's a better way. We don't have to touch the same handle as everybody else. We don't have to put ourselves at risk unnecessarily so. So my idea today is to bring this 24 rail doorknob into fruition. And I'm working on it uh, on my spare time. I have two products simultaneously right now, but this is my project. And I, I envision a day when billions of these doorknobs will be on the planet Earth, making your Amtrak experience your high school experience, your nursery school experience, your senior home experience, your rehabilitation care experience, your subway experience, uh, ameliorated to full uh, dream vision of cleanly interaction and cleanly environmental uh, cohabitation co and cohabitual co uh, sharing of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the public areas that, that deem us cities and states and towns and centers and will increase the likelihood of harmonious uh, coexistence.